to do a blog, what purpose does it serve? As a CEO, as an entrepreneur, as a founder, you literally will have a million things to do. So why on earth would you vlog? That's a question I had to ask myself. And maybe you saw, I did put out my first vlog. I did all myself. Uh, I've been postponing it for a long time. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I've been fearful. I've, I've felt embarrassed. Who am I to vlog anything? Uh, everything is so boring. I have a stupid accent. My business is not, not that tremendous. Who am I to vlog? But I did get around it. I did publish the vlog. I did put it on YouTube. And I must say it was a lot more therapeutic than I would have ever imagined. Just the fact of taking those minutes, and I'm talking minutes, not hours, during the day to reflect and speak out loud, even just like during this moment on reflecting why to vlog is, is so therapeutic. Having those few minutes on every day last week, being able to reflect and document was was big, was huge. That alone, I think, is worth vlogging if you're thinking about it. Uh, is this gonna make me rich and famous? In all honesty, I, I plan to do so. That's, that's a, that is the goal behind this. I'm not, I didn't start doing this for uh, note-taking or journaling reasons, uh, although that that is a very positive side effect. So I, I do feel now very proud and happy, surprisingly so, that I was able to execute a vlog. And even that just one vlog, even if this video never gets published, I, I'm, I'm satisfied, I'm happy, I got over my fear, I did put it out, it was great reflection. But yeah, I do have big plans for this vlog. Big dreams, is that stupid? I don't know, maybe. But I also do feel now calmer. I, I do understand that there might be like seven people who see this vlog, but if I keep doing this on a regular basis, I'm, I'm certain that it can have a positive effect on my business. Having this sort of human connection through a vlog, leaders who can capture on this format will reap benefits. So we'll give it a go. It's not OKR listed activity for us yet. This is not scripted. But yeah, this week's vlog's topic is the vlog. So welcome, let's go. So it's Sunday, Emilia is with her mother. I rode my bike to the gym, got a solid good Sunday workout done, came to the office, uh, did some orders content creation, shot few videos. We're doing a shorter Norders operating system demo, so shot a clip for that. Now I plan to do the editing for it before riding my bike back home. Hopefully I'll be done in, in 30 to 45 minutes, so I get to spend some media time before going to bed. And then I did a what is Norders kind of blog video, longer talking head video for next week that I think I'll be able to edit tomorrow morning. Now, a few, few moments to get some editing done. But you know what's the hardest thing about vlogging? It's vlogging. This experiment has definitely taken me back to a long time ago when blogging with a B uh, came about and everyone started a blog because it was the new easy fast way to reach us right and soon very soon everyone realized it's really hard to do blogging <laughs> uh, because you need to be consistent you need to be disciplined you need to have focus I think it's just when you are being pulled to million different directions or not even millions just like five it's hard to prioritize these things that don't showcase value like right now. By now, what I've noticed is that for me, 
the most important thing that creates happiness for me is simply doing the things that I set myself to do. I'm having a much better of a day and me going to sleep is going to be a happier going to sleep once I did this simply because I I did tell myself I'm going to do it. It's not very quality oriented. One of my personal development heroes, Carl Newport, he talks about quality over quantity. But for me, that's sort of what I really disagree with. I think quality follows quantity. If I keep doing blogs, if I every day keep going to the gym, if I every day keep writing blogs, my human brain will want to figure out a way to make them better. What I'm 100% sure about is that if I just keep watching vlogs, keep planning vlogs, keep buying and downloading, note-taking softwares or Notion templates about vlogs, my vlogs will never get better. It might take a long ass time and these vlogs will be shitty forever, but what I've learned about myself thus far is that that matters less than the pain of regret of not even trying. You know, that's a beautiful thing that I can get happiness from the journey. I'm a better person when I do the things I promised myself I would do. And when I'm a better person, I'm more qualified to help this business and people around me and the community around me to perform at, the, at their best as well. Okay, and let's talk about the vlog gear for a moment. Let's go through it quickly. I'm pretty happy with my setup. I've had this for a long time. It took me a while to get around actually using it. And I mean, this is the vlog number two, so it's still not like it has the longest, longest proven track record of being used into making successful Hollywood vlogs. So this is actually being filmed with the Sony a7C. I'm using normally my Sony ZV-1 for my vlogging, but now since I wanted to show this camera, I did this part with the Sony a7C. We actually originally got the Sony ZV-1 for Ronnie, our co-founder, but then he got some black magic heavy heaters. So this was idle for a moment and then I grabbed it. I've been playing around with it. I think I started first taking like some uh, gym selfies and family pictures with this. And it's, it's pretty sweet. It's, it's as, as you can see, super mobile, uh, easy to carry around. It has this sort of selfie mode. So it's easy to do vlogging with it. Now I have my Rode wireless go to microphone so I can show my Rode video mic pro microphone that I then have used for my other lock purposes. So if you're looking for an accessible solid setup for doing video, either talking head videos like this or vlogging or just shooting around the office or, or at the gym, I can, I can recommend this setup. Maybe my favorite part of this vlogging setup is actually my little peak design bag that can then hold all of this stuff and goes into my peak design travel bag. So I think that's sort of my favorite gear geek part of this whole vlogging. If I geek over some gear, it's probably my backpacks. Maybe one day I'll do a backpack video, you never know. This goes nicely, neatly in here, fits well and goes, goes with me. And then I can go back to vlogging with this wherever I am. So that's it, there you go. Zoom is ready. 
I am ready. No, no attendees for this LinkedIn Live. I'm pushing through. Gonna have this one. Gonna talk about silos between marketing and sales. I think it's a great exercise for me to prepare myself to discuss about these somehow new focus topics for for orders as a revenue rev ops agency. Yeah, you don't go to the final game without doing the work first. All right, that's it. Tuesday done. Had a good board meeting. Uh, very good, actually. Love those guys. Gotta say, good momentum. Good pushing forward. Once again, taken. Slightly surprised, but even more taken about the fact how how positive, supportive everyone was. I'm so grateful and lucky we have some big shooters on our board. And then they actually take the time and listen to my stories, me complaining about my small business problems. But yeah, man, grateful. Really, 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 I think grateful to have those guys uh, being supportive for us right now. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna kick some ass. You see, we're gonna be the kings of revenue. Let's go. First, home, dinner, Emilia time. Let's do it. So the week has turned into Wednesday, 6.30 a.m. Behind the wheel, once again, such a beautiful morning. In my ideal world, I would be on my bike now, on my way to the gym. But customer meetings today at places, live meetings, that would be just logistically uh, excuses. Logistically, still difficult to to go by bike. Also, I think still to like ask the first impression to come in my tights and be all sweaty from the bike rides. But still, maybe not the look, the first impression I want to give. So, behind the wheel today, first gym. Then picking up a hotel lobby nearby, the meeting locations, getting some work done, a few video calls. Gotta be grateful, man. Still get to do this stuff. I definitely wanted to spend more time during the beginning of the week for this vlog that was supposed to be more about vlogging. I'm not also sure why I felt such a rush to get this vlog documented, get the recording done before Thursday, because I would have had a lot more time tomorrow and on Friday. I mean, again, obviously, technically, I could still do it, but I really, for some reason, wanted to do the recording part Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, had these big ideas of doing some drone materials for this and, and doing more of the B-roll stuff. Maybe next week. Still happy though that this is getting done. I'll take this as a W for now. Baby steps, right? It's only the second week of the vlog, so trying to stay humble. I think I still want to end this week's vlog with my reflection on the board meeting yesterday. I've never, in all honesty, understood the meeting of the board for an SMB or especially like for a new small business like ours that's in the service industry. But yesterday's board meeting was such an amazing one once again that I really start to understand 